Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, uh, we're gonna make the KD desktop, and we're gonna turn it to in Windows 11. So yes, uh, I guess from the title you might just understand this is not Windows 11. This is actually Manjaro uh, with a KD desktop, of course. Um, it's, I think it's really accurate. Uh, so there are a few uh, little minor parts that are, could have felt like it would be better. Like there's a little edgy part here, even if it's curved. There are little uh, problematic parts. So I might uh, release a second for a follow up this video. But uh, at least let's make the closest that we can get right now. So, let's begin! Welcome back! So, as you can see, I just reset the whole desktop, so we can uh, see, and you can see the step-by-step -step guide. Uh, so, the first things first, uh, uh, we're starting it, by the way. Uh, I'm just gonna install all the themes that I'm using right now in the Windows 11 theming so of course I'm just gonna use it here you can go and get it from the website so open this page I'm just gonna make it full screen so that will be easier uh, now the themes name was when what was it called let me search for it since it didn't show up when 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 uh, there it is so I'm gonna make it look like the dark theme version of Windows 11. You could use a light theme if you like, but it's gonna be a little bit different uh, if you do that. So let that run. So it's gonna take a little while because it's also going to install a lock screen theme as well, but we're not gonna edit the lock screen in this video. Uh, if you want uh, a lock screen edit video, uh, please write down in the comments. So. There we go, it asks for STDM, which is the lock screen of KDE. And any moment now, yeah, it's finished. So we're not gonna apply it right away. Uh, so we're gonna keep the breeze theme, by the way. Uh, since there is not a, a real similar uh, Windows 11 theme equivalent, already the breeze is similar enough. Uh, we're just gonna apply this panel theme. As you can see, uh, we got the Windows 11 logo, but the start menu is not perfect here. It's the KDEs, not Windows 11s. Now we're just gonna get the color for it, which is this. Bam! It's now dark themed. Although uh, the buttons might look a little off, like the selection colors, so you can use a a blue theme here, there we go, that looks a little better when you right click it has the blue color since Windows 11 that's how it is so let's select the borders now in here uh, you might see there's actually a little spike here I don't know how to fix that, it's kind of the problematic part about this and there's no blur in the bottom but it still looks nice when you uh, have it hide it with the wallpaper or something. So let's continue and we get the dark icon theme as you can see it's applied. There are a little bit janky uh, icon replacements but as far as I've seen in this uh, icon theme there isn't. In some replacement icon themes there are some janky components but in this one there's not much. So in here we're gonna have I'm not gonna use this Windows 10's one because it doesn't look that similar. So let's search for Win. There's a really similar one. Now let me see. It has to be somewhere around here. Uh, no, that's oh there it is. Win 10 KD. This looks almost identical. It might be identical actually. So let's close this and there it is. 
as you can see it looks extremely similar uh, if you didn't log off and log back in the cursor would change between the desktop and the apps so don't really mind that right now it just changes uh, out of control so we finished the theming part so let's close this up and now let's edit the panel so first we have to uh, find some widgets so let's do that I actually only uh, make the replacements for the start menu I didn't go for and search for the search menu and other things and maybe in the second follow-up video we can do that as well so it, we don't even have to search right now the it's really uh, been the top tier right now so we can just simply install this right away and there it is now we also going to search for disk top I also had to say Windows 7 or something like that but it's actually the exact same uh, concept in Windows 11 so it's gonna be complete identical uh, oh there it is Windows 7 show desktop get the latest version for plasma so there it is and close this as well and now let's edit the panel which is extremely easy and now we got the separator uh, oh, and before we do any of this, go hover over this task switcher and click on configure and get the maximum rows to one so that it won't get janked up. And then let's open up edit again. Add another separator, grab it. Okay, just grab it and edit. put it here. And add another one and just grab it and put it all the way here there you go now let's remove this show desktop or actually we can just say click on alternatives click on Windows 7 one BAM it, it won't actually do it just remove that let me check that out yeah for some reason I never really try that but there might be a bug it removed it so we will add by ourselves oh no just put it over here so sorry I didn't really expect it to go there uh, so I'll get this Windows 7 and shower and BAM let's put it there uh, I'm gonna get rid of the pager for virtual desktop purposes uh, if you want that you can keep it I'm just gonna get rid of that uh, so there's not a virtual desktop button uh, we can search it out actually uh, so that's prepared this is ready and yeah, let's actually get that as well. It's going to be Windows 10 equivalent, but uh, it's more functional and uh, more usable desktop in the end. So at the more usable desktop counts more, right? So present Windows buttons. There we go. Oh, and also this could be our search there we go and where did that other thing go at the dictionary I forgot its name oh okay uh, I'm struggling right now unstallable found it there you go Tada! Oh, and I almost forgot. <laughs> it just looked really weird for a moment. Just select when menu 11. Bam! There you go. And of course, we're not going to use this wallpaper. So we're just going to click on configure. I already got the uh, Windows 11 wallpaper in my pictures folder. So I'm just going to click add pictures. Here it is. Open. Then go all the way in the top oh and OS Darks already had uh, added by itself as well but I downloaded it as well so it, I guess you don't have to download it I didn't know that it had it by default and voila so you can uh, if you open up apps you can just see them like this 
and now the the Explorer I guess it's not the most uh, similar but I think it looks really uh, I mean it's not the exact same but as similarity goes it's quite similar so you can install Microsoft Edge or themes to it uh, to make it even more Windows 11 like but we're just gonna go for a little bit more open source style so just making free software similar to non-free software so that showing that there's no real difference or something like that I guess you want to do but here it is I don't know what is your purpose in doing this but here you go you can make it look like it. Uh, you can make your Manjaro or any other KD uh, installation look like uh, Windows 11 and I think it's really accurate if you make the panels a little bit more apps fill them up and yeah Thanks for watching, uh, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, there, I'm going to give you a little tip for you. So, uh, you know that in Windows 10, on, when you right-click, you only see taskbar settings, right? In KD, you pretty much see a really similar thing, but you can easily add panels or do a lot more things than Windows. So, you can easily fix that by just right-clicking on the edge the Windows 7 bar that we just installed and click on lock widgets so when you do this when you right click you can only see the flexible size thing so that you wouldn't really able to edit your widgets that easily so as you can see you don't really have any much access to them anymore so if someone else uh, if you hand your computer to someone else uh, this would make your KD uh, desktop a little bit more un indestructible so they can't really mess up your system by mistake or in purpose I guess so yeah a little tip for you and now buy for real <laughs>